Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys all had a fantastic start to your day. Season 3 has been live for a few hours now in Madden 25. Also, the Madden 25 server and look got a whole new update. You guys can see here, it just looks generally cleaner. Coming on over to the catalog. Come on, come on, there we go. Tell me this does not look nicer. But that is not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about what you guys need to do first in Season 3. Now, Season 3 has been live for about two hours or so. Now, I had an exam this morning, didn't have time to lock in right when Season 3 went live, so I figured we'd come back here a few hours later and talk about what exactly you guys need to be focusing on. As always, if you guys are new around here, though, and you do enjoy this video, go down there and drop a like. All right, now let's hop in to Season 3. So the biggest change with the new season in Madden 25 is the big one. We now have a premium field pass. So I just bought the season three premium field pass and taking a look here, you guys can see the rewards. We got an angry runs pack. We'll take a look at it in a second, but you can see right when you buy it initially, you get some pretty cool things An 87 B and D overall chase younger Sean T LT or CJ Stroud, and then a bunch of other free packs. If you were planning on buying the premium field pass, don't worry, you don't have to buy it today. Whatever, you know, progress you make on your field pass today will translate over to the season three premium field pass whenever you do decide to buy it. I think it is by far the best value we have in the game. Now, I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of having a premium field pass, but for what it is right now and the fact that you don't get anything crazy and anything that isn't like not obtainable by not purchasing the field pass. I'm here for it, but as soon as they put like a glowing X Factor token or an absolute stud 101 card behind this field pass, then we're gonna have issues. But for what it is right now and you know, being really good value and I get it, people are no money spent. But if you spend money on this game, 100% you should buy the premium field pass. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Figure out, are you buying the premium field pass? Are you not buying the premium field pass? If you're buying it, when are you buying it? After that, you're gonna wanna come over here and take a look at your challenges. I'm gonna say this right now and I'm probably going to say this once a week. Make sure you guys are doing your daily challenges. For season two, a lot of people did not get done with their season two field pass because they were not completing their daily challenges. I know some of these are annoying. They take a little bit of time, but fellas, you weren't able to get level 50 last year or last season, not last year, if you did not complete your daily objectives. So making sure every day you log in and get these done should be a day one priority every single day. I get it. It's annoying, but get them done. You don't want to regret it. Now, also, we do have week one objectives. You guys can see here, score passing touchdowns. We can record interceptions, achieve first downs, and get team tackles. One thing I always say when it comes to objectives, make sure you guys know what tracks and what game modes. Tackles and first downs track in any game mode, but interceptions and passing touchdowns only track in offline and online head-to-head -head modes. So don't go into a solo challenge, throw 30 touchdowns, and then expect to get your XP. You're not getting it. But taking a look at the actual field pass, the rewards do look really good. We won't have the season tickets ticket store until tomorrow, and then season special offers won't be here until Saturday. Still, though, coming in here and just beginning to grind through your field pass, saving your season tickets, moving on forward, and progressing in this season should be your number Number one priority. Speaking of progressing, if you guys come over here into your sets and you completed the season two field pass and claimed that token, come in here and exchange it. You guys can see right here. I did it. I haven't done it yet, but let's see how many levels we get. Okay. Already better than season two. We got two levels from that. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's not, uh, great at all. Kind of annoying that, like, a level 49 reward in last year's field pass got me two levels, but you guys can see, since I have the premium field pass, how many more rewards I am getting. Also, they are noted with premium rewards, so rare strategy item 78 plus, and then you guys can see the rest here. I will say, though, I have heard that this rare strat item fantasy pack is glitched for people, and well, there it is, still glitched for me. Now, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we will have the most feared reveal stream. I'm expecting most feared to be one of, if not the craziest promos we've seen so far. Maybe one of the craziest most feareds we've ever seen. It's a little bit of a stretch, but based off all the mutt leaks we've seen, yeah, this promo is going to be elite. And anytime we get really, really good content, the market is just bound to get absolutely destroyed. Now, this isn't an update on every glitch video. Don't worry, those will be coming back on Thursday when we don't have any 7 p.m. reveal streams, but 
the market, we got to talk about it. Now, we're not going to go take a look at leaks or anything right now, but just know the entire market is going to be in shambles tomorrow. If most feared is even half as crazy as Mutt Leaks is making it to see, we are getting three separate drops of most feared. During each of these drops, I expect the market to just tank more and more and more. Now, maybe DK Metcalf doesn't go below a million coins, whatever. But these 89 overall Gridiron Guardians in the gutter, 88 overall breakout players, whew, you might be able to pick every single one of them up for 200k. Team builders are going to be 250,000 coins. Fellas, the market is going to be in shambles. There's a lot of good things coming. If you are holding on to any of these expensive cards, I'm talking about some of these reduxes more specifically. So like Tyreek Hill, Xavier Worthy, it might be time to move on for them. One, they're, you know, probably going to get cheaper. I, not probably, they will get cheaper. And two, we're going to get better cards that will most likely come in here and sell for 500k. Most feared champions tomorrow, I'm predicting will probably sell anywhere from like 500 to like 750,000 coins and then come to the end of the week. So like, we'll call it like Monday, not the end of the week, but like a few days after most feared has dropped, they should be going for about 400 to 500,000 coins. You can basically exchange your 88 overall wide receiver today for a 90 overall wide receiver come Monday. Playing the market correctly can be one of the most important things you do pretty much every single day. All right, so angry runs, angry runs week one, you guys do get the well welcome item whenever you decide to log in today you guys can see here you'll open up this pack you'll we'll get through the animation and well it just doesn't want to open up properly all right yeah so it looks like angry runs will be dropping on thursday it'll also be dropping on thursday from here on out really don't know why they revealed it last night i also don't know why they gave me a welcome item that i tried to open and then didn't get anything out of it we talked about the welcome item last night but essentially in that welcome item you'll get one every single week it'll be that specific player but in this week's welcome item you're gonna get a token that token can be used to upgrade that specific week or any previous week's angry runs players to like an 87 overall not sure if it's gonna be an 87 overall come like week 15 of angry runs but right now they're gonna be 87s cool concept kind of annoying i just don't have it in my game but whatever it's not really a number one priority fellas if you made it this far the number one priority of today getting situated in season three really just figuring out all right do i want to purchase the premium pass do i not want to purchase the premium pass do i have money to purchase the premium pass all of these things you got to decide pretty soon but then again you don't because any progress you make here will transfer over from the regular field pass to the premium i'm sure i'm gonna say this a lot and i'm sure a lot of you guys are still gonna ask me i think the premium field pass is worth it a million out of a million times but as soon as they make it so the you know the top tier cards or there's something specific behind a paywall i'm not here for it but right now, if you want to get the premium field pass, you got $15 to toss up. Hey, go for it. The rewards do look pretty good. I think that's everything we got this afternoon. Reminder again, 7 p.m. Most Feared stream. We'll have that covered here on the channel. And then tomorrow will be everything Most Feared. More than likely, tomorrow's schedule will be a morning ranking all the Most Feared champions. Afternoon, Most Feared will actually be live. So we'll be talking about everything Most Feared. And then, you know, Thursday night, we will get an updates video. If you guys are new to the channel, we have gotten a lot of new subscribers over the last like week or so. The updates video, I post them every single night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. By far, if there's one video of mine you're going to watch, I recommend it be that nightly updates video. We basically talk about everything that happened that day, maybe the days before, you know, obviously glitches, it's in the title. We have a really long market talk as well as things coming into the game, whether that be reveals or leaks. It's basically like a 20 to 30 minute like podcast session of me talking about Mutt every single night. Again, though, tap into those. They are the most useful thing I post on YouTube. But that is everything we got today. I gotta go lock in for this exam again. I'll catch you boys back here, I guess tonight at 7 p.m. But until then, have a good one. Peace, fellas. I'll catch you, boys.